Hello guys and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is going to be about six form interviews, getting ready for them, knowing what's going to come up, what they could possibly ask you and how best to answer them. First thing before I even start on the interview is that your grades are the most important thing to the sixth form. The interview, it may count ever so slightly, but your grades are the most important thing. So make sure that you have good grades and your grades are well enough to get onto the course that you want to get on and also to meet the requirements for that school in general. And if you need any help with your revision or making a revision timetable, I'll insert my video up here or maybe it's on this side, I'm not too sure. <laughs> One thing that they could ask you about other than your grades, which you should have put into your application, is what are your motivations for the subject? Why have you picked these specific A-level courses out of every other course? And this is probably one of the most important questions that they'll ask, not only for them, but also for you. For, because you need to understand why you're picking this, because the jump between GCSE to A-level, from what I've heard, is immense. And you can't just learn information for the sake of learning it. You have to actually enjoy the content to even stand a chance of getting a good A-level. Know the reasons why you want to do a subject. Like for me, my first subject for whichever school I go to was English Lit because I like reading, I like analysing text and that's basically what I said to the interviewer and she's like, that's a good enough reason to want to pick English Lit. One thing they also could ask you is about your career prospects or what you're thinking about university as in what courses you want to do, what university you want to go to, that sort of thing. Even if you don't have an idea of what you want to do, you probably should start thinking about it before the interview. You can't just say that you don't know. You don't know. I understand that we are still in year 11 and we probably don't have the best picture of what we want to do with the rest of our lives or what we want to do in three years at university. But it's just a good idea to have a plan. Even if you don't act on it, it's, it's just nice for them to know what sort of path that you want to go down. Another thing that they may choose to ask you about is your extracurricular activities. This is things that you do outside of school hours. It could be volunteering. It could even be being the head boy or the head girl or a prefect in your school. It could honestly be anything and it doesn't really matter what you say about this they're just trying to get to know what sort of things you like to do for fun and in your own time this ties in well with hobbies and honestly for hobbies you can say whatever you like so long as it's appropriate they really just want to get to know what you like as a person and the sort of things that you're interested in this question is probably less likely to come up but that doesn't mean that it couldn't come up and it's why you're attracted to this sixth form. They may not ask the question as explicitly as that. They may say, why do you want to move from your current school sixth form to this sixth form? Or a question along those lines. But it all sort of ties into the same concept of why our sixth form. For this, I would recommend that you go on the school's website and just have a read through, look at their values, their ethos and try and figure out a good reason of why you want to come to this school. Is it because of the competitive atmosphere or because of the facilities? It honestly could be anything. And if they ask you and if they ask you why you're coming from your school to our school don't say things like you don't like the teachers you don't go on with the teachers you don't get on with the students they just paint you in a bad light so you could say something like i want to move from my current school to this school because i feel like i want a fresh start in a fresh building with fresh teachers and a totally new batch of students that I've never seen before. And just like I said in the beginning, remember this does not count ultimately towards you getting an offer at this sixth form. It's just a small, small portion. Concentrate on your grades. Those are the most important things that sixth form cares, care about. 
and even if they don't give you an offer you can honestly just go up to them on GCSE results day and so long as you meet their requirements they'll probably take you in as long as they have space left all right guys so thank you for watching today's video and i hope to see you in the next one bye bye